I'm just going to go ahead and make a little boundary cut here with my super thin parting tool and uh, then we'll do a little uh, waste removal using the half inch spindle gouge. This technique was originally shown to me by Nick Cook and uh, like so many things Nick Cook makes it look awful easy and I'm sure this looks easy to you and in fact it is. So you've seen this before this is just another view of how that cut works. I've glued my ebony uh, plug, going to end up in a disc, into the end of the maple holder. Just as an exercise here I'm going to do some chatter work. So your first step is always to do a facing cut. I like to do it with a spindle gouge, in this case a half inch, and what you're trying to do is just get a nice smooth cut across end grain. You've heard me say this before, the easiest way I know to get a silky smooth cut in end grain, once we've got it fairly flat, is to use a skew laid over on its side as a negative rake scraper. You can see the little wisps of ebony coming off here. This is going to be smooth as a little baby's behind. If you've never used a chatter work tool, this view will give you a really good idea of how they work. The tool flutters and vibrates and chatters horribly, giving you a random pattern. They are not repeatable. The slower you run the lathe, the finer the chatter work pattern will be. And we don't want to cut super deep here. Just uh, put it up there and let it scream and do its thing. Okay, I faced off the last one. Wanted you to have another view of exactly the same cut. This time cutting it a little deeper and running the lathe a little faster. So we got a uh, much deeper, much larger, much bolder cut. Once you've done your chatter work, if you'll go back with a skew and outline it with a small little V-cut or even two little V-cuts on the inside and the outside, it really sets off the chatter work. Uh, kind of in a picture frame style and it will really make a dramatic difference. It doesn't look so haphazard, it looks finished. So here I'm using the long end of a skew. You could use something really pointy. I could actually stand the skew up and uh, cut vertically if I wanted to. camera really doesn't focus well on this ebony, but there you can get some idea of what it's supposed to look like. I'm just not quite happy with the way the disc intersects the uh, maple, so I'm going to take a little bit deeper scrape cut to get it down exactly where I want to. It was looking a little raggedy. Uh, when it was in the stop position. So here we're prepping for the chatter work tool and I'll make uh, one last cut for you. This time lathe running very quickly, another quick swipe and a pretty aggressive cut. So that should give us a coarser pattern than we had before. I'm not even going to look. I know about what I'm going to get. I'll go ahead and uh, frame it with those little V-cuts. Here I put two in and two on the outside. Now if you don't have a really good fit, one way to disguise it is to go ahead and cut a V-groove right there at the join. And my fit was less than ideal add a little bit of glue sticking out so if you put a V cut there it just disappears. I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, Renaissance wax on here. I just wanted you to see what this ebony would look like uh, with some sort of finish. Since this is not really a project, it's just an exercise. Uh, I didn't put the uh, lacquer sanding sealer and all that kind of stuff. You've got to be careful because that sanding sealer can get trapped in the little uh, ridges that you have and look very, very bad. It looks uh, like you haven't finished. It looks like 
uh, it, it just it catches in there and it just looks awful so you have to be real careful so with a little Ren wax there shined it up looks pretty good I know some of the detail is kinda hard to see so I took some snapshots for you to give you an idea of uh, what that work actually turned out to be on this very last sequence uh, that is how you prepare the disc in this case ebony to go into uh, a top as an insert you have to turn it round then glue the in this case the maple top onto it and if this were a real project that's what we would have done